Hello, I'm Helen from the Writing Development Centre, back with You Ask the WDC, where we answer some of your academic skills questions. And this is a question that we've had quite a lot recently. It's about 24 hour take home exam papers and how do you prepare for them? So should you wait until you get the question on the day so that you can tailor your revision precisely to what's been asked of you? Or what should you be doing to prepare in advance? Well, this is quite a new format for a lot of us. Um, take home papers have been around for a while, but they're not used very often. So they'll be new to a lot of us, I think. Um, one thing to stress is it is still an exam and it's going to be marked as an exam. You're not going to be expected to have produced the same kind of thoroughly researched and very polished answer as you would in a piece of coursework, for example. You'll be given a time limit for how long to spend on that exam and probably possibly a word count um, as well to give you a sense of how much that looks like on the page. So although you have 24 hours do bear in mind you are not meant to be working for all of that time. That would be that would be impossible. Um, the 24 hour time limit basically is um, if you're in a different time zone, then you won't have to sit the exam in the middle of the night. You can choose a time that's a bit more sociable for you. And also in that 24 hours, there might be some periods of the day that work better or worse for you. So you can find a time within that 24 hour period that works best for you whether it's first thing in the morning or in the middle of the night. So let's think about an approach to that then. If you are doing all of your revision on the day, as well as making sure that you've answered the question to the best of your ability, you're going to be taking quite a lot on. So you would need to be looking up things that you've forgotten or checking things that you're not quite sure if you've got them right or not. You'd need to make sure that you understood things that they were clear three months ago, but actually you're not entirely sure you've got it now. Or maybe th revising things that you're not sure you ever understood in the first place. You would be um, finding that one useful thing. You know you've read it somewhere. Where was it? Was it in a handbook or was it in lecture notes? Can't remember. So you could spend quite a lot of time trying to find stuff. Um, you would be searching the literature. So anything on the online library, anything in books you've got, anything in the whole Internet um, for new examples or evidence that you might want to bring in. You would be getting an overview of the whole topic so that you could make sure that you'd selected appropriate things, that everything in there was relevant and you hadn't left anything out. And if you try and do all of that on top of actually sitting the exam and trying to do the best answer that you can, you're going to probably end up very rushed, very tired, very stressed and overwhelmed and probably not doing yourself justice. There's also the danger if you're on the day under pressure and you've got the whole Internet to be drawing from that you can get quite distracted and go off track and start including things that really aren't relevant. So. An exam is still an exam, even if it's 24 hour take home paper. So how do you prepare? And in some ways, the answer is you revise as normal. Yes, there will be some differences, but you're still going to want to memorise some things. OK, you can still reference things in books. You can still look things up on the Internet, but you don't want to be doing that every time you're trying to remember a fact or a concept or a definition. So you need to make a decision. Which things do you need to store in your head because it's quicker that way? And which things do you need to leave in your notes so that you know where they are? You can access them quickly when you need to, but you don't necessarily need to go about memorising them. So which things are core and likely to be drawn on and which things are nice to know they're there if you need them? As well as memorising, then understanding will still play a very strong role in this. So you'll still be um, trying to check your understanding, trying to um, practice explaining things to yourself, trying to make sure that you understand the concepts, the ideas, the theories that you'll be using, trying to practice any approaches or methods um, to solve problems. So that element of practice is still very strong in revising for a take home paper. You'd also want to still be um, rehearsing solving problems like this, practicing sitting an exam paper. There may be past papers. Um, they may not be quite the same as the one that you're using at the moment, but they won't be that different. And you can also try making your own questions. If you were setting this exam, what questions would you set to test that candidate's understanding and their, their thinking? And you can practice um, 
doing brief answers to those it's a really good opportunity to start you know bringing ideas together and think flexibly about okay on the day how can you respond to that particular question that they've set you rather than trying to memorize a model answer the model answers very rarely fit the question that you've actually been asked so you're much better practicing that kind of very flexible thinking and responding to different situations using what you know um so the main difference really is that idea of, well, what do I need to memorise and what can I leave in my notes? Which means that one of the newer ways that you can use to prepare is making sure that on the day your notes are organised in advance. You've done your reading, you've selected what you need, so you're not going to be looking on the internet too much um, and, and rereading things. And your notes are organised so that you can put your hand exactly on what you know is there rather than trying to scrabble through piles of notes and find things that you know were somewhere where were they um so still even though it's a, a take-home paper even though you've got 24 hours to answer i would still be putting quite a lot of effort into revising for it almost as normal and that will give you more time to focus on answering the question that's been set on the day using all of the preparation that you've been doing um, and you'll have much more headspace, I think, to make sure that you're doing yourself justice and doing the best answer that you can. Um, I wish you luck for your exams. I hope they go well. I know that it's a stressful time and it's quite a, a new situation for a lot of us, but I hope they go really, really well. If you want to talk through um, revision, exam technique or any aspect of revision academic studies, then do get in contact with the Writing Development Centre and we'd be very happy to have a chat with you.